Hello. Hello and welcome to 0088's YouTube channel. And we're about to continue our Infinity War. Chronological Road to Order, the Infinity War. MCU Marathon. Road to Infinity War. Yeah, we're on Iron Man 2 now. We're about to check it out. I feel like we haven't put a dent in it yet. I <laughs> know, oh, we've got so far to go. But anyway, let's get right to it. Here we go. This music's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the trailer, when we just like... Mm -hmm. Took that bit out, though. So I would have watched Incredible Hulk then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you heard Sam Rockwell try to copy him. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. <laughs> so what's this about? He's getting some blood. Uh, his blood is getting all toxic because he's using the palladium inside the the arc reactor in his mm. chest. It's affecting his blood. For the hey! <laughs> so oh, yes, he called him Larry though. Played Larry King and Hugh Hefner. Wasn't so bad. Where we left off, Mr. Stark. Please. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Can I have your attention? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you or do you Seriously. not possess a specialized weapon? I do not. This guy's you died, do not. isn't he? Passed away. Yeah, well, it depends yeah. on how you define the word. Weapon. He looks like the bad guy. I know. A lot. Reflect that I observe. A lot of men do. Not that I don't like this. Will also be an attempt. I never like this. It's the same Silver Surfer. I'm not with people like that. that thing. <laughs> absolutely. Please be able to force. Yeah, Sam Rocker was absolutely hilarious on this show. God bless you. Yeah, I mean, they need to bring him her. back. Oh, hey. God. Uh, I tried to play ball with these ass clowns. Fuck you, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. You wouldn't have said that. I think they use the opportunity to uh, put that on the TV and swear. You can count on me to pleasure myself. Look how happy he was before he realized I was aliens. <laughs> as soon as he saw aliens in Avengers, yeah, he started to change. Up. What does that mean? The cord's been defeated, so that... That's the play being called as power in the thing. Oh. Simulations on every exactly. The introduction of Black Widow! Gosh, you so, how far she's come, man. She's so young in this. She's gonna get her movie, finally. Completely oh, forgot man. about everything about Iron Man. Why is she getting in like that? No, it's not in this. It's Terrible. No, no, yeah. Stupid. So <laughs> weird. Not so weird. <laughs> Shield made that five minutes ago. It's like, better watch your back. <laughs> I want one. No. Is not your best color. Anthony. Just the color. Um, she's actually doing a big spread on me for Vanity Fair. Oh, well, she did quite a spread on Tony last year. And she wrote a story as well. <laughs> and she wrote a story as well. Very well. Time say Brie. God, it's so awful. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's the first time you've seen each other. So much quips in this film. Mm. Mm. Natural quips, not like annoying sure Thor Ragnarok slot. quips. Hammer needs a slot, Christine. We, we kid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we kid, we're kidders. He does this in the comic when I was reading the early mm. issues of Iron Man. Mm. Like in the 1960s. <laughs> I love the way he points at the screen, just pisses me off. <laughs> It's not that funny. <laughs> it is. It's, it's like, it's like just pushing Justin Hammer off every way possible. Come on! Hey. One of the best suit ups ever. <laughs> I love this shot. I don't know why. This whole bit is about him making Iron Man look weak. Mm. And showing that Iron Man can't always protect the people, and they should take his suits away because he's not. But then he he beat him. Iron Man successfully beat him. Yeah, he got beat up a little bit, but he successfully beat him. He's fighting speaking French. He never uses it. Again. Yeah, I know. He never uses his multilingual abilities. Very good man. What is that with Justin Hammer's hands? He's got those fake tan on his fingers. Yeah, pretty much. It's disgusting. I think that's the point. Yeah. Like, he's supposed to look quite sleazy. Sleazy guy. Like, <laughs> you're good. Mickey Rourke's nails, man. Really blasted yeah. the same nails as Hawkeye. Uh, 
<laughs> what is that shit? Let me show you where you're gonna. You know, the question I get asked most often is, Tony, how do you go to the bathroom in a suit? Just like that. <laughs> but isn't he wearing clothes on the back? You want to be the war machine? Take your shot. Put it down. What the hell, man? Oh, God, you're going to steal my kidney and sell it? Did you please not do anything? Do you think he um did this on purpose? The ex-wife? The ex-wife. Shit, the ex-wife. Nah, I think he thought it was actually sick. Something here. Like I'm ready to make Iron Man 4 with the real Mandarin and Fing Fang Foom. What is and always will be my greatest creation is you. So he's not adopted in the MCU then, right? Oh no, because Tony's adopted in the comics now, but hopefully they're He's adopted? Him. Yeah, stupid. Hopefully they're retcon now. I think no, they're, he's not. I think it was that annoying Michael Brian uh, Bender's like obsession with adoption. Dope. Okay, everything in his life in the comments. Totally, Mr. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> that always made me laugh. The proposed element should serve as a viable replacement for Palladium. Next time. I got so excited when I said that. Captain of the show. That's it. You have created a new element. Couldn't he, like, be famous for that, like, even more so? Sir, you want to run some tests? Run them. <coughs> I wonder what that feels like. Mm, that feels that so like oh, no! Why did it feel oh, so quick? Yeah, yeah. Because of the edit of... Oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at this fake Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited because of what he's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. Hey, Pepper's like, what the fuck's he doing? <laughs> All these people are in danger. We gotta get them out of here. Let's take it outside. Tony, Tony, I'm locked on. I have target locked. On what? On you! Apparently, that's Spider Man. Yeah. That's Peter Parker, apparently. They've changed it to. <laughs> Apparently that's Peter Parker. Jesus. Watch the room. Okay, I got it. Yeah. 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 I love this. That was actually kind of nice to see because, like, when you see these action, when you see these guys fight, they just think, "Oh yeah, they can fight." Happy Hogan's like showing what a real person that that doesn't have any abilities would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, make, they make it look like it's easy what they're doing. Yeah, it's, it's really not. Well, they make it look easy. But... Yeah, that's what I was just thinking as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're playing like games. Online. It's like they're playing online. <laughs> you shouldn't have led with that. I think you should lead with that next time. Yeah, sorry, boss. I can only use it once. It's a one off. Why? Probably takes loads of power. Was that what you was using when it's trying to. Or was he just scanning? <laughs> what? I think he lasered the. Um... Those Le Le Leviathan and good. Avengers. Good. Can't wait to get to Avengers. To like a CEO. Mm. This is your idea? Yep. <laughs> you know he got beat that quick. They beat him quick, man. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. He fought over, over, over whatever his name is longer than that. Stain, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, oh creepy. Can't take this anymore. That's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard the whole thing. Hulk That's Hulk. Well, since obviously you should watch Hulk first. Right. Yeah. Hulk. This is finishing now. Yeah. That's like at the beginning of Hulk, so it makes sense. I don't 
don't think I want you looking at that. I'm not sure it pertains to you anymore. Yeah, I guess so. This, on the other hand, you deserve this. Sorry. Funny how annoying a little prick can be, isn't it? Let's get a photo. How did he die? I'm not sure how he died. <laughs> and that's the end of Iron Man 2! Yeah, so Shoot back to reading these comments. <laughs> Just hanging out now for a bit. Hanging out. <laughs> you know it. Oh, hey, AMPM. Oh. You're a bit late. We just finished watching Iron Man 2. A lot of fun. Next on the agenda is The Incredible Hulk. Whole lot of stairway says, yeah, it's all happening in a two week period of those three movies. Yeah, everything's happening all at the same time. That's why they called it Fury's Big Week <laughs> in the comics. In the pre comic. Fury had a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. So Turbo Face asks me in the middle of the film, did you guys grow up with Marvel cartoons or did the MCU spark all the love? Nah, the MCU didn't spark shit, mate. <laughs> no, well, come on. No, I'm just joking, of course it did. It was, no. just was amazing to see it live, actually. That's what it was. I think it always it all started with the X-Men back in oh, the night. Oh, yeah. Na -na -na -na. It starts with the X-Men, obviously the X-Men film that came out, that was exciting. And then of course Spider-Man, we used to watch the Spider-Man animated series uh, all the time. That's what got me into Spider-Man. Now I started reading the Spider-Man comics because the 90s version of the Spider-Man animated series. And um, yeah, that was awesome. That was really good with uh, the Green Goblin, Venom. That's what made me love Venom and everything like that. So it's all about that. And obviously, in the Spider-Man animated series, you've got cameos from Iron Man sometimes. War Machine was in there. Captain America was in there sometimes. You know, And then there was the the Fantastic Four show. That was cool. I watched what a few episodes say? of that. Fantastic Four, it was a show. It was fantastic. <laughs> and, God, uh, cool was shit. and what other cartoons were there? Uh, there was another one. Oh, the Iron Man cartoon, yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I don't think I've watched that. I watched that I when I was a kid. That. I used to love that. I don't think I was uh, alive. <laughs> okay. I was posing. What was it posing for, man? There you go. Yeah, the, the Iron Man cartoon was also bad. It was like, like, I mean, I just, I mean, I love it more now because I'm seeing the films. So when I go back and look at the cartoon, it's like, wow, I'm so glad I watched this. Because mm. when I when I when the film was first when Iron Man One was first announced, when the trailer for Iron Man One in two thousand eight first came out, I was like, oh my god, they're making an Iron Man film. I used to love the cartoons, and not many people used to watch the cartoon of Iron Man. I'm so glad they made it. I don't know if you guys ever remember the intro. Go search it up on YouTube now. Okay, I like the intro. The intro for the second season. The first season was just, <coughs> just bland, but the second season intro was like, I. Am I a man? I am. I am. It's so, it's so, it's such a sick intro. It's like every comment. If you read the comments of the intro of Iron Man, uh, the the animated series, it's like now I'm a man. Now I've got a hairy chest. Girls would comment, I've got big balls and a moustache now, because the intro is so manly and macho and nineties. <laughs> Tony had a big mullet and he had his. Big moustache and everything. I've got, I really wanted Tony to have a mullet in one of these films, just because. Are you yeah, right? He could have had one in Iron Man Three in the nineties no, flashback. He did. He didn't have a mullet. That was. Um, oh. I can't remember his name now. Why does he need a Can't, mullet? Why are you ruining everything? Because he had a mullet in the comics in the seventies. He had a mullet and a big moustache. That's the seventies. I know, but still, Tony Stark. What about the style? It's like the same. Of if, if it came out in the 80s, you should have an afro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But still, Rhodey had like a big square afro in the, eight, in the 80s. Oh, comics. yeah, that makes sense. Though. Like a flat top. Um, AM, PM says, someone said tickets go on sale tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said that to my sister earlier. I don't know if that's just in America. I've got I'm mad anxiety. Well. I'm not going to see this film when it comes out. Like, Probably. seriously, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I, okay, know. I don't know how we're gonna book. I want to. I want to get all my friends and everyone to get ready to watch it. No, everyone's listen, gonna take their sweet time. As we soon can't as they waste come time. out, I'm not waiting for no one. I'm booking them. That's it. Mm. That's it. Why is I'm not waiting for anyone. The time, man? Ah, ah. 
So it says, Turbo Face says, me and my sister watched Spider-Man and X-Men was her favorite. Yeah. Did that, did that get you excited? Like for the MCU? Like watching Spider-Man the cartoons when you were a kid? Yeah, the site's going to crash when they go on sale, probably. Oh, look, Stairway says. Mm, no, don't say things like that. I hope not. Probably will. How are we going to get tickets? So, you guys know that Black Panther is making a ridiculous amount of money at the moment. Like, obviously, he's hit a billion now. It's almost been Avatar. It's almost been Avatar's record of uh, how long it's how been. Many, in, a, in a weekend. Like, in a weekend. How many weekends it's had. How many weekends it's won. Do you guys think Avengers Infinity War... It's going to make more. Do you, think of it, do you think Black Panther could possibly beat Avengers Infinity War? Is that is that a possibility? Because well, the, way, the reason why I say that is... I don't think so, because the, people the, that saw the Black people, Panther are going to want to see... They're going to want to see like him again. Him, him again in Avengers Infinity War. But at the same time, there's so many people, like I think in the black community in America mainly, that went to watch it just because it's black... Panther, you know, just because it's like about black people, or whatever. But they have no idea about anything in the MCU. Don't care about anything else. Just but then, care about listen, Panther. it came out in a really good time because now everybody's all they, about. They're like, okay, so he's part of the Avengers. What is this Avengers shit? Everyone's going crazy. Yeah. Then they're gonna start watching like how we are the road to Infinity yeah. War. Yeah. So Every, this, I feel like this probably brought. Movie. Yeah, this will this probably bring this probably brought loads more people to Which the MCU. Which makes me more annoyed in a way because now I'm not I'm gonna get no tickets. Yeah, I think loads more people in the MCU thanks to Black Panther. Yeah. But yeah, so now that's what that's what that's what well, that's why Infinity Wars good. And so many people that probably didn't want to watch Black Panther. I know people that couldn't be bothered to watch Black Panther as well that normally watch MCU films. They'll probably be there. Everybody's been waiting for Infinity War as well. They've been building Thanos since 2012, you know. So, man, yeah, people have been dying to see what this guy can do. So, man, I think, you know what? I think Infinity War is going to make a two billion. What do you guys think? Two billion on Infinity War. Jesus. That's going to be mad. Two billion? Also, uh, back to that whole question about um, did we start off with the MCU? I used to I used to read a whole bunch of comics as well. Like, I used to read the Spider Man ones. I used to read some Iron Man ones when Iron Man was first coming out. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of awesome that you did because obviously I haven't read them. But yeah, I'm just like, I gave you so much information. Happen? Yeah, like literally, you just know everything. Yeah, the stream is getting really bad quality. Sorry, probably, guys. Sorry about that. I, th I don't know. I think it's probably because I'm using... Before, I used my Windows uh, version. Now, I'm using the Mac version. I feel like I might have to go back to Windows. Never thought I'd say this. Oh, God. Never thought I'd ever say that. Ah. But the Mac one, maybe the quality is too good on my... Take on, it back. On the camera. It. So, it's making it, like, take up too much bandwidth. I am... I am... But I've got to get this out before we end the stream. Like, talking of, like, giving you information about the comics and stuff. Remember that time when we prepped for Iron Man 3? We prepped for oh Iron Man God, 3 so don't, hard. Don't, please. We basically... That's what it was. We so read everything up about the Mandarin's history. I even did this. She like... did that. She doesn't really do stuff like that. You can't be bothered to do that. And then, mm. we, and then we sat there and watched the, uh, really extremist, the Extremist Motion comic. Like, we watched that as well to, like, just hype up for Iron Man 3. And then we went to watch it. And what the hell? Like, first of all, Mandarin was a waste of time. They made a joke out of him. Killian was a lame bad guy. Who cared about Killian? Like, the Killian in the comic was just some scientist that got killed off really quick. The Killian in the film was just a waste man idiot. <laughs> he was the main bad guy. It was going all right, like, the first the half. The first half of Iron Man 3 was going all right. And when the Mandarin was, like, joking, I mm. was like, Oh, this is such a good twist! Like he's joking yeah. around. And then yeah, he that would have been so cool. I'd actually loved that. Yeah, that would have been. I thought that's what we were doing, and I was, like, I was getting well excited. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, how yeah. do you think of this? And then, and I then he, he was just, gonna. He didn't stop joking. Yeah, I know he wouldn't stop. And then I was like, "Oh, yeah, where, where's this guy? Where's this guy?" And I was like, "What is this man?" And even if they did make the Mandarin like a uh, what's it called, a double. 
Like, I didn't have to be an idiot. I didn't have to just take the piss out of the whole film. Because it took all the suspense and the tension it and the really stakes. Did. If it was just a normal double guy, like, he's not a real person, then that would have been okay. Like, no? Maybe that could have been how he became the Mandarin. I know? mean, I'm very... I can't really say that. Obviously, you know, I hate it. I'm... I hate Iron Man, but like I have only watched it once in my life. We've only watched Iron Man three once. Like we watched it again when we, we when we were prepping for the other films, like the next one that was coming out after. You didn't really pay like, attention. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Yeah. yeah, you fell asleep when we were watching it. Well, we're gonna watch it now and see how it feels. If I like, fall asleep, guys, I'm sorry. I'm joking. I won't fall asleep. I won't fall asleep. I, the, the, as time has gone on, Iron Man three softened up a little bit for yeah. me, but I still pissed off. It's just, a bit. It was just sad to come back from the cinema and we were mm. like. Iron Man 3 was the first Marvel film where we were coming back from the cinema and we were really pissed off. We've never, I've never felt like that for any Marvel film. Maybe a little bit Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2, but I still kind of no. I still kind of like Guardians of Galaxy Volume 2. You well, saw Ragnarok just for that one. Uh, VOT says, hi, Kemi. Hi. Kimmy. And, uh, Kimmy. <laughs> and he reckons it's going to be 2.2 billion. I reckon he's not too far off. I think it's going to hit 2 billion Infinity War. Uh, VOT says, are you excited about the different phases they will show Thanos in for Infinity War? The different phases? Is that, that's, that, that's some new information. I don't know what that is. The different phases they will show Thanos in. I don't know what you mean by that. Is that is that some new info we don't know about? The different phases. AMPM Re says, mm -hmm. where is the Soul Stone? The Soul Stone is... Stop getting angry. It with the sovereign with Adam Warlock. I've said it a million times. The soul stone is with Adam Warlock. That's where no, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably on it's probably oh, it's probably on Titan or something. I don't know. There's these rumours that now it's on Titan or something. Titan's gone. No yeah, but no, the Titans. No, well, think, okay, in the, the comic, it's gone. Sorry. The com yeah, Titan, the planet is still there, but apparently he's been wiped out. All his people, all. I thought the whole planet is gone. The whole people on the planet is. So why don't you just stay? Why don't Thanos? All that have to do is just you know recreate everything. Yeah, but he's not. He's pissed off, isn't it? That no, that no. it was the guy. It was the. It was the uh, what's what are they called? The um. The Celestials apparently killed all these people, apparently. That's what they said. I don't know if I'm a fan of Thanos' motive. We won't go into that because I don't know how many people actually know about it. Yeah, I kind of prefer the comic one of mm. Lady Death. I used to hate that. I used to think they need to change that. Now, after I've read more about Thanos, I kind, of, I kind of wish they stuck with it now. But they might do. You might, you might still show you up. How are you well, I've literally just got to do the uh, credit scene, and then I mean edit it, and then I need to do the sounds. Yeah, yeah. Sure, it take me a couple of days to do sounds. That's what you said Should... a couple of days ago. Yeah, but I haven't finished the thing yet. The video. Oh yeah. Anyway, whole lot of stairway says in the Infinity War prelude comic, Wong and Doctor Strange say they have no idea where it is, but it may be on Titan, Thanos' home planet. Wait, did they say that in the comic, or are you saying that 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 it may be on Titan? Because I, I read, I didn't read it, I saw bits of the Infinity War Prelude comic. Did they say that in the comics? I didn't read it, I only just saw like an advert about it. And the advert I saw on a website said, yeah, the same thing you just said, that I don't know where the Soul Stone is. I didn't see anything about Titan on it, though. Let me know. Whole Lot of Stairway said, also says, yeah, they're going to show a little back, Thanos backstory on Titan. Yeah, can't wait for that to be good. VOT says they will show him Thanos as a baby and adolescent. Really? Where'd you see all this? Where did you not get all this info from? I must have missed this. Uh, Infinity War apparently takes place five years after Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah, that makes sense because... Um, uh, the, in, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was after Captain America Winter Soldier, wasn't it? Oh. It was all Age of Ultron. I can't remember now, mm. but it was it was a pr it's, it's, it was like four months after the first film. It wasn't in the MCU timeline, like following it how the films were coming out. And it's two years. So yeah, that's an interesting one. It's two years after Civil War. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, of course it is. It's 2016 was Civil War, and 2018 Infinity War. Wong and Strange said they have no idea where it is in the prelude comic. 
I'm saying it may be on Titan. Okay, good. I'm glad you, they didn't. If they said it may be on Titan, then yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. You said this is the Infinity War is taking place five years, five years after Guardians of the Galaxy 2, right, guys? So you're telling me Adam Warlock has been chilling in that pod for five years doing nothing? Like, how long is he going to sit there for? What's the point of Aisha plotting this, this revenge for five years? Get the hell out of here, man. Adam Warlock's been out of that pod. Thanos is for Adam Warlock. Thanos already has the Soul Stone. Basically, what happened, you know... <laughs> yeah, obviously, like, in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, you see that she's created something. Mm. Right, but it doesn't mean that he's been in, sitting there for five years. He could have got out and they've been doing some yeah, stuff. Yeah, they could have been doing stuff. Apparently, I, you know, Adam Warlock's not even Adam Warlock could have been in that pod for, like, a year. Like, yeah. this, is what, this, is, this is what, this is what, this is what they could have done. I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, because I don't think it's going to happen. To be honest, I think James Gunn isn't lying, and I think uh, uh, that we're not going to see Adam Warlock until Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Like, I honestly believe that. Mm -hmm. But I think there is a small part of me that believes he could be lying. And everybody I talk to that I say, why can't Adam Warlock be in this film? He should have been in this film. They say, oh, there's no time for Adam Warlock. We need time for everybody else. There's, there's so many characters. There's no time to introduce Adam Warlock. And which is true, like, you do need a lot of time for all the other characters, but do you really? There's, all the characters have been established for all the previous films. Why do you need more time for them again in this film? Like, at least, like, some of the smaller characters anyway. So here's how I think Adam Warlock could be explained. Let's say he's already out of his cocoon. We didn't need to see him come out, but we could see it in a flashback if you really wanted to. And Thanos got the Soul Stone off screen before Infinity War starts from Adam Warlock and the Sovereign. And Adam Warlock was originally released to go and kill the Guardians, but he didn't, he couldn't do that because he was intercepted by Thanos, had the Soul Stone taken from him. And now Adam Warlock's mission is to go and get the Soul Stone back. And then in, on his way to get the Soul Stone back, he bumps into the Guardians. And instead of fighting them, they become friends. That's how you put Adam Warlock in it, you know? Like, and that's how, that, that, it could still happen because we don't know where the Soul Stone is, but I doubt it. I don't think that's gonna happen. But if it does, you heard it here first. <laughs> uh, let me go back up. B.O.T. says, LOL, I thought it meant in looks when you said, babe, but you're obviously talking about looks. There is a strange rumor going around that Stark has the Soul Stone. I think he might be linked to it, but it might lead to his demise. Yeah, and it's because of all the, the rumors going around about Stark having a Soul Stone. It's just because of the promotional pictures and they put Tony Stark on the Soul Stone. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I believe all that. I think that was, those are just simply promotional stuff. I don't think it's a big, big deal. Maybe the stones. Maybe he'll die, and the soul stone is what kills him. But that's all I can guess with that. It might be something to do with him. But I don't think he's always had it. Like I think he'll just have it in this film, or it'll be something to do with him in this film. A lot of stay away was saying, yeah, that's what I was getting at. Warlock should be in it. Yeah, he damn well should be in it. That boy four there says, for says Adam will be in Guardians three. Hopefully, a lot of stuff says hopefully. Even he said he. He might not even be in it. Apparently, they're going into Rocket's backstory in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah. See, James Gunn even said he might not even be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 now. Because I remember he came back and said that. So what are they doing with Adam Warlock? It's just so weird. Like, why are they being so weird about Adam Warlock? I don't understand. BOT says, they refuse to use Adam for undisclosed reasons. Feige and Gunn are hiding something critical. There is a specific reason, unless he shows up. Um, yeah, it does feel like they're hiding something, man, because it's just weird. I'm thinking maybe Adam Warlock, 
Maybe Adam Warlock is um is the guy that defeats no, maybe not I don't know if he'll defeat Thanos, but maybe he's the key. He's a very important key to defeating Thanos, I don't know. And I they're trying to keep him the, a secret. This is like the sad thing about like, I don't know, getting excited for stuff or being so invested in something. Because yeah, you, you read know, the when you're younger, story. you when you're younger and this kind of thing would happen, you'd be like, Oh, so he's not gonna be in it. Oh, that's annoying. And mm. you leave it at that and then you watch the film, you're like, Oh my god, he's in it and you get mm. excited. But now people are like, Oh, you're gonna find out where he's in yeah, yeah. Out. There's get no the information. Because they could have easily because I know there's no information about casting or anything like that, but they could have easily filmed secret scenes like in the studio. Like, because all the pictures that people take are outside. Maybe they just they didn't need to get any outside scenes for Adam Warlock. All the scenes are in the studio in space and green screen, you know. So I don't know, but if probably not though. <laughs> um, what if Captain Marvel has the Soul Stone? Uh, I don't think so because she's been. She's they said that she's not in the film, uh, and I think Thanos has to have all the stones by the end of this film. Otherwise, that's going to be weird if he doesn't. If he doesn't have all the stones by the end of the film, I'll be a bit pissed. Why? Because, like, we want to see how he works with all the stones, at least for one scene. You will in part two. Yeah, I know, but, like, it just feels weird that he doesn't get all the can stones. Can we let it drag on a film. little bit? Come on, like, after... after how, how, can you imagine if the film more? ends and he's only got, like, four stones? It's really no, random. No, I feel like he might need just one more. Or something. The soul stone. Yeah. And Captain Marvel has it. That means they're proper replacing... If she has it, that means she's taking up Adam Warlock's role, which is annoying. Like, why do that? Just When's Captain Marvel coming out? Uh, next year, I think May. No, not and May. Part two. I don't know when Captain Marvel. I think it might be coming out this year actually. I think. Mm. Oh look, so I'd be fine if Adam Warlock came out of nowhere and beat Thanos, but at the same time, at the same, I'd be rather it be the heroes that I've watched for ten years. Oh, they'll still definitely be the ones to defeat Thanos. Like I don't think they'll do what they did in Infinity Gauntlet, where he. It was just him, Gamora, and Thor, and Hulk. Like, but I think the main heroes will still be there. So I think a lot of people's gonna die as well. Oh, Captain Marvel's on the IMDB list of Infinity War. That's interesting. But it doesn't make sense though, because um, because they've said in the news that she's not in it. They've confirmed that she's not in it, but she's on her IMDB listings, which is weird. So, but you just can't, because they confirm it doesn't mean that it's true. If anything, you should you should listen to the confirmation news more than the, than, than the IMDB, because IMDB sometimes gets it wrong. I remember when they said that, uh, what's her name? Lady Stoneheart was going to be in in Game of Thrones on IMDB, but it was just, it was just a lie. It wasn't there. It wasn't mm. true. Fiorenti says, remember, Feige and Gunn scratched Warlock from Guardian, Guardians of Galaxy 2. Then they scratched him from Guardians of Galaxy 3. Made her, her will... Maybe he will have his own movie. Maybe he will be linked to another major character. Yeah, they scratched him for a reason, man. I don't know why. It's weird. They removed him from Guardians of Galaxy 1. Because originally, the cocoon in, in the collector's collection was Adam Warlock. James Gunn said that himself. But then he changed his mind and said, no, actually, it's not. It's not him. And then they, and then James Gunn confirmed that Adam Warlock was going to be a major part of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. But then he had to pick between Mantis and Adam Warlock. So he picked Mantis instead for some reason. And Adam Warlock was just in a cocoon. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. It's weird. Yeah, they could flesh him out. Maybe, maybe they'll still, maybe Thanos will live uh, through Infinity War and Avengers 4 and he'll fight Adam Warlock in Guardians of Galaxy 3. Who knows? Who knows? Like a side character or something. I don't know. They need to make Thanos into a Loki kind of character that keeps coming back. They can't just kill Thanos off. That would be lame. Like in the comics. But yeah, guys. That's it. That's our watch of Iron Man 2. Catch us when we watch uh, The Incredible Hulk next. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Sorry it was a bit laggy this time. Um, it's, it's a bit annoying, but hopefully next time won't be so laggy. I'll try using a different um, stream key or something. I don't know. 
How Great. many? How many until Iron Man three? I don't know, like four or something. We can see that for you. <laughs> no, I went for you. All right, then, guys. Um, we'll see you. Incredible Hulk. Peace.